Also on the quiz for tomorrow, you will have to define all terms without a word bank or matching. Uh, and so for matter, I'll be looking for these keywords. Anything that has mass and takes up space. For mixture, I'll be looking for uh, these key words or phrases. A physical blend of two or more substances. A heterogeneous mixture, we use the root hetero. And mixture, mixture being a physical blend of two or more substances. And hetero meaning that are different throughout the composition. A homogeneous mixture is, of course, mixture again, physical blend of two or more substances. I'll be looking for that when I grade it. And then that are the same throughout. Examples of heterogeneous <coughs> mixtures that you may find on the quiz, granite rock, salad, chocolate chip cookies. Anything that you can pick out distinct parts. Examples of homogeneous mixtures that you may get on the quiz. Air, stainless steel, alloys, soda pop, salt water. Anything that you can, cannot pick out with distinct parts. And so then we move into a different category. Elements, compounds of pure substance. A pure substance is made of a fixed composition that has its own properties. It can either be a compound or an element. A compound is a chemical blend of two or more elements. An element is the simplest form of matter, the basic building blocks. Compounds that may show up on the quiz are things like sodium chloride, NaCl, or carbon dioxide. A compound or element will always be listed on the quiz with either a symbol or a formula. Some distinct Statements or some major statements that we made from class today. What can be separated by physical means? Any type of mixture. What can be separated by chemical means? A compound. What cannot be separated? An element. When two elements combine to form a compound, they will lose their individual properties and identity and obtain a totally new property and identity. 